everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Leanne and welcome to Coffee and Cash. Hello everyone, my name is Leanne and this is Coffee and Cash, my new YouTube channel. I am a zero-based budgeter with the cash envelope system. So I've tried this system over the past couple of years and I've been successful for a few months then I would fall off. So that is one reason why I started this YouTube channel to document my journey and also to hold me myself accountable. So a little bit about myself, like I said, my name is Leanne and I am 50 years old. I'm a single mom of two grown adult children, two girls, and over the past, ever since my divorce, it's been a struggle with trying to save money and getting by and trying to do everything on my own. So I have been watching these YouTube videos for a few years now. And like I said, that is why I started this channel. That is why I'm starting this envelope system to hold myself accountable and get myself back on track. I do have an... Uh, uh, what would you call it? An obsession? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. I do have a problem with overspending at times. I'm budgeting my money. So I feel like this will help me stay accountable. So in this video, I want to go over my wallet envelopes with you and my other envelopes in my binders. I have four binders and then I also have my loose change jar. So I have been stuffing envelopes for my two, well, actually I will be doing my second paycheck of the month right after this video, but I started at the beginning of October. So I've already stuffed a little bit for the month of October. And um, I'm just gonna go through all of my envelopes, explain a little bit about what they are and how I'm setting this up. One note I do want to make is that my house payment and my car payment are not included in any of these envelopes. I just keep that money straight into my bank account and it just draws and pulls from there. Um, that is those two things, two expenses that I am not going to cash stuff, but I am going to cash stuff everything else, including savings up to a $500 point, and then I will take it out and put it into my high yield savings account. So let's start with my wallet. So this is my purse. It's just a crossbody where I keep my envelopes and my receipts right in there. And these are the envelopes that I keep in my wallet. So I have eating out, spending, and I actually do have a little bit left over from that. So groceries and gas. So those are the categories that I keep in my wallet. I do have a buffer on in my checking account. So I always have a buffer in my checking account if there comes an unexpected expense that I um, have not budgeted for as, as far as in my wallet. And then I can replace it from one of these envelopes into the bank account so everything will be good and accounted for. But like I said, these are my envelopes for my wallet. And next, I will go into, I think this is the right or binder, yes. So these are basically my monthly, um, my mo monthly expenses. So I have my utilities folder here. Like I said, my car and my home is separate. It will stay in my checking. I will not pull for that. Um, I also have my car insurance. I do have some tolls that I need to pay off. Um, so I do have a, a little slip in here where I will be saving for that per month and then just uh, making a payment on those tolls. I have my subscriptions and this includes Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, and my Walmart Plus. So those are my subscriptions that I stuff for there. And in medical and and within this medical folder, I have my copays, which I've already stuffed for, and medical bills. These two, so I have copays and medical bills. Like I said, I already have some cash in there. Copays is self-explanatory. Medical bills. Um, my youngest daughter had 
has had some medical issues that has uh, racked up some bills for us. She's actually only 23 and she had to have cataract surgery. I believe it was on her right eye. And the surgery itself without insurance was over $32,000. With insurance, I owe between three and $4,000 for that surgery. Plus she's had some ER visits. She's had a little bit of other issues. So I am saving for that. And then once a month, I will pull from the hair and pay towards the medical bills. So I have that envelope. And then my coffee, which is very important. As you can see, I have my coffee here. It's in the name of my channel also. I am a coffeeaholic. So coffee, I always have to have cash for coffee. And then vet bill, I have two dogs. Um, one is a Maltese, it's a Maltese Shih Tzu breed and it's called a teddy bear breed. And then I have a Yorkie and she is older. She is close to 15 years old. So um, knock on wood, she's been in very, very good health, to be honest. But I do would like to save up to get her teeth clean. That's expensive because um, they would have to put her under for that. Um, so I am going to be saving up for some vet bills for that too. Plus they need their shots too for when they board and when we go on vacation in the summer. So I will be stuffing for that. And then I just have a miscellaneous envelope too for any, anything that I just overlooked that needs paid or that I haven't budgeted for. So a miscellaneous envelope for that. Next, let's pull this one here. And in this binder, these are what I guess everybody calls sinking funds. So I have a birthday envelope. This is for obviously my two daughters, my parents too, and for any other birthdays that I would, myself, um, any other birthdays that I would celebrate throughout the year. The next birthday I have is my oldest daughter. She's in December. And then we don't have any starting until the summer. So we only have one more to worry about for this year. And then I have an envelope for Christmas. This is not all of my Christmas money. I do have some Christmas money saved in a savings account, but I have not stuffed for this yet um, to add extra to what I already have in my savings account. So I do have a Christmas envelope. I also have a Thanksgiving envelope. I do host for Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. So those are the three um, holidays that I will be stuffing for over the year. So I have my Thanksgiving here started already. And look at that. I have two Christmases in here. I guess I was wrong. Let's take this one out. I'm not sure why I had both. That's very strange. Okay, so I guess I did start last pay and stuff extra for Christmas. So my apologies. So I have some money in there for Christmas. And then I have, this is for self-care, hair. I don't do my nails, so I apologize for the way my nails look. But anyways, um, hair, anything like that, if I wanted to go get a massage or a facial or anything like that, I labeled it hair because that's what I tend to use it for. But um, I have an envelope for that. And then I have an envelope for clothing and I have an envelope for night out. This could be um, a night out with friends, family, my daughters, to the movies, to a concert that I want to go to, to a show that I want to go to. I will be stuffing for that. So that's this binder. And then I also have my yellow daisy binder. And in this one, I have car maintenance. I do have a vehicle. It is very high in mileage. I need to get a new car. So um, this could be for my car registration. This could be for my car um, inspection. This could be for um, oil changes or any kind of work that I would need on my car. So I have an envelope for that. I do have a vacation envelope, which will be empty for the next couple of months because this binder is for something special, which I'll get into. But I will, after the first of the year, probably in February, start just stuffing into this 
envelope alone for a vacation, but I have um, a vacation coming up in January for that I'd be saving for in here. And then I'll have an emergency envelope here for any kinds of an emergency, if an appliance breaks or um, anything like that. So I have an emergency envelope and I would like to stuff this envelope to get one month ahead. Um, I would need at least $2,000 in here to be one month ahead. So um, I will be starting to stuff that. Some of these I might not start till the beginning of the year. It just depends because like I said, holidays are coming. My vacation is coming. And there's other priorities. The medical bills um, I do need to pay for, which I'll get into my roof. Um, it needs repaired. So um, some of these I might not be stuffing till the first of the year. Now this says wedding, but this is for future wedding for my girls. So it doesn't say future, but I do want one for future grandchildren also, which I will get into, but I don't have one set up for that yet. This is something I won't be stuffing until the first of the year um, also, but this will be future weddings for my girls. Home, this is where I'll be stuffing for my roof or for furniture or for any kind of home repairs that needs to happen. Electronics, I will need a new cell phone soon. So, and mine is cracked. So I won't be getting any money for my new phone. Um, so that's where I will be stuffing for this. And also I will be doing the $1, $5, $10 and $20 savings challenges. So this will be what is left over in my wallet envelopes. So as you can see, I have already started with some $1 bills. Oops, no, you can't see. I've already started with some $1 bills that I had left over. I'm just going to move this ahead. So like I said, I've been stuffing this from the past couple of weeks. And I believe I also have a 20 in there too. So that's good. I will also be doing um, savings challenges on my channel too. If you would like, you can check out my Etsy shop. Um, it is called Coffee and Cash Co. on Etsy. I will link leave a link down below in the description box for that. I've created some savings challenges that I will be um, featuring on my channel in the probably the next month or so. So um, stay tuned for that. And if you want to pre-order them and st uh, cash stuff and save those challenges with me, um, please go check out my Etsy. And they're just uh, um, downloadable PDFs. So very easy for you and very accessible. So you can use them right away. All right, so the last binder that I have is my Disney binder. So my youngest daughter, who is 23, used to compete in the uh, Miss America Outstanding Teen competition here in Pennsylvania, and she just absolutely loves to continue to watch um, pageants on TV or go to them. We still go to Miss Pennsylvania here in Pennsylvania all the time every year to go watch. She still has friends um, that still compete in the Miss America organization. But the national competition is in Orlando in January. So last minute decision. And we're going to be feverishly stuffing this envelope uh, or this binder in these envelopes to get to Disney in January. That's going to be the majority, obviously, of her Christmas present and mine. Um, but we decided to go to the Miss America competition and then also add two days into Disney to go to the parks. I believe she wants to go to Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, we're going to miss the Christmas decorations literally by like two or three days, which really bums me out. Um, but that's okay. One year I will get to Disney during the Christmas season to see the um, holiday decorations. One year. But um, as far as the envelopes, we will be stuffing. We will be stuffing. We will be staying on property. So I will be getting the vacation package, which now includes, if you are a Disney person, the 
dining has come back. So there are dining packages that are starting in January and when we're going. So that's going to be included along with the park tickets. So that's the hotel, the park tickets, and the food for the two days that we will be in the theme parks will be included in this vacation package. So there's that. And then we will be doing the flight. I have actually free points with Spirit for my flight. So I will only be having to pay for my daughter's flight, her round trip. So that will be a bonus also. So I have a folder for that. And then Ubers. So obviously you can take the Disney transportation from the airport to the resort. But from the resort to the Miss America competition, we will be needing an Uber back and forth for that night. So I will be saving for that. And then obviously the Miss America tickets, we will be saving for that. And then any other spending that will incur um, while we were there for um, souvenirs or clothing or anything we would like to buy um, that will be in this envelope too. Um, so that is all of my binders and the envelopes that I will be stuffing for myself along with my cash envelopes. And like I said, if you are, well, you are new to this channel. Obviously, you're new because this is my first full video. So if you made it this far, thank you. Thank you for listening to me and letting me speak about all of my savings goals. And I'm starting this very gently and slowly, except for the Disney trip. We got to be aggressive with that. But the first of the year, it's going to be all about saving and my emergency fund and my one month doing a lot of savings challenges um also i will be doing cash on stuffings quarter i don't know maybe monthly at one point but i know quarterly i will be doing the reviews you'll also want to check out even though this is my first long form video here on youtube uh, youtube i have three shorts already so please check below and check out my channel and watch those shorts. I also have a TikTok. And like I said, I have my Etsy. Everything will be lit listed down below. So please follow me there because on TikTok, I will be doing short term, short form videos that are just quick, quick unstuffings of my envelopes weekly, anything like that. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope that I can inspire and motivate you too to try this zero base budgeting cash envelope system. And I will my next video will be my weekly cash stuffing. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're notified when that video goes up. Bye everyone.